Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at um, feedback sampling and how we can use this technique in order to create atmospheres and textures and drones in our tracks. I find it especially useful um, for capturing these type of vibes in, in forest, Psytrans and, and dark sci or whatever you want to call it. It's probably useful in, in other stuff as well, of course, but um, yeah. You get my point. Um, anyways, let's get started. So what we want to do is, you want to create a MIDI track and load a sample of your choice uh, onto this simpler over here. So I loaded just a random snare. Then you want a audio track uh, I renamed it to Effect Chain because we're going to put effects here because this is going to be a part of our feedback loop. And then you have a channel audio track for recording whatever you're doing in the feedback loop. And lastly, you create a re empty return channel. So there's no effects here at all. And <clears throat> so what you want to do now is in the Effect Chain channel, you want to grab the audio from the feedback channel, or feedback return channel over here. You want to monitor it, and you want to dial up, you want to send this one into the return channel, the sample that I'm triggering. But to create the actual feedback loop, we need to send the effect chain channel back to the return channel, so it's going to feed back into itself. Now, before you start playing around with this, it is pretty much mandatory to have a limiter here unless you want to blow your ears or your gear. I'm going to turn it down 12 dB so it blocks everything or limit it, limits the channel. As you can see. So, yeah. Always put a limiter here. Now, now this is where the fun begins. So now we start adding our effect. So let's grab an EQ, maybe a auto filter. Set it to, I don't know, bandpass, 12 dB. Some LFO movement. Uh, moving at a slow rate. Let's grab vintage verb. Always a limiter in, in the at the end of the chain, remember that. Dial up the decay a little bit. Five seconds or so is enough. What more fun effects we have? Maybe a frequency shifter? Can't believe I ha don't have it under my favorites. There we go. Then we have maybe a chorus. We also want some movement. So we need an LFO as well. And we're going to modulate the rate over here. Set that to random. Turn up the smoothing. Offset it a little bit so just, just do some small moves. Dial back the maximum value. Um, Okay, so let's see what we got so far. Also, since we're re recording the resample, we need to solo this group only. Pretty eerie. <laughs> let's uh, record this. So like that's one hit, right? Let's change the frequency shift a little bit. So quite high amount. 
Set it to ring modulation, maybe. Like 50%. Because now the frequency shifter is going to add the movement to our sound and start creating these moving atmospheres. So like when you feel you recorded enough, you can just do a high pass and it's going to stop. And if you want to bring it back in, if there's still signal somewhere in the chain, it's going to come back to us. But it seems that the feedback loop is over. So let's do some more, maybe without the bandpass filter. Remember, just uh, trigger it. So yeah, now we got a recording over here. Let's uh, move this to another channel over here. I got over here. Turn this off so we don't accidentally start getting feedbacks. And uh, let's audition, audition this.
of these samples were created using this feedback technique that I just showed you. Maybe some delay. Some short reverb. So yeah, that's uh, how to make some atmospheres using feedback uh, loops. As always, experiment. Um, try adding some movement within the feedback loop and just record every move you do and pick out the best parts. I can see myself chopping these atmospheres up and fading them into each other um, and, and to create some long droney stuff to just play in the background and have stuff move up, like move on top of it, so to speak. Um, that's my that's my um, goal with these type of sounds. So, yeah, I hope you find it inspirational. Um, a little disclaimer, I didn't come up with this myself. I actually got the inspiration from another video, um, which was from, from Ableton. They had these series where producers make their... They share their creative tips on what they want to do or what they do uh, when they don't feel like, um, when they feel that the inspiration is lost. Uh, so they want to spark some creativity and there was just one guy that showed this specific technique, which I really, really liked a lot. Um, so uh, yeah, um, happy producing guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Bye.